Post Office Limited is stealing uh, my livelihood, my shop, my, my, my job. They've been fighting for justice for decades, but it took a TV drama to finally bring about change. I haven't got that money and I don't know where it's gone. Now a resolution for victims of the post office scandal at last on the horizon. Will you finally deliver justice for the postmasters? This not a scandal of Rishi Sunak's making, but one he has to resolve and fast. Mr Speaker, this is one of the greatest miscarriages of justice in our nation's history. Today announced in a plan to overturn hundreds of wrongful convictions of postmasters. I can announce that we will introduce new primary legislation to make sure that those convicted as a result of the Horizon scandal are swiftly exonerated and compensated. That legislation landing within weeks and compensation planned by the end of the year. On this, MPs across the political divide united. It is a huge injustice. I'm glad the Prime Minister is putting forward a proposal. We will look at the details and I think it's the job of all of us to make sure that it delivers the justice that is so needed. To that end, Postal Minister Kevin Hollingrake in the Commons confirming convictions will be overturned on a blanket basis. We recognise this is an exceptional step, but these are exceptional circumstances. All we ask is that par as part of their claims of compensation, postmasters sign a statement to the effect they, will, they did not commit the crimes of which they're accused. It's what so many wrongly convicted people have been waiting for. I called my oldest and I said, look, mum is going to call. <laughs> Teju Adadeo was given a suspended sentence. Right. Sure. She considered oh, taking her own life. Yeah. What I would like is to see all of them exonerated, every single name read out mm. and your sentences quashed. Yeah. I believe in that because you don't want to go looking for a job or applying for a visa somewhere and it's still there. <laughs> for Mark Kelly, the announcement is too little, too late. I, I started to blame myself, so I became quite suicidal. Given that you've been involved in the group campaigning for, for many years now, did you feel pleased for your colleagues in this that they actually will get those convictions overturned? At the moment, though, the story is all about the convictions, yeah. and there's a lot of people who have suffered just as much of the convictions, yes. and they are, they are not being looked into, and also the immediate families. For hundreds of people like Mark, this is the most significant step yet in their quest for justice. But this scandal far from over. Now, IT giant Fujitsu that designed the faulty software in the firing line, as questions grow over how this injustice came to pass and how to ensure it never happens again. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.